Hi everyone, it is good to be back. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. So I know I have been on such a big hiatus and that's because I have had COVID. Um, and I had long COVID, unfortunately. Um, basically it was a few days after I uploaded my last video. So this entire time I have had COVID. Um, the worst of it was the first week. I had muscle soreness, body aches, the whole shebang. And then I had an unrelenting cough. So it just would not go away. I had lost my self-confidence. I was coughing every two seconds. I didn't want to go out and I wasn't able to film. I mean, physically I felt okay, but because of long COVID, I had a sore throat, um, I had a cough, I was phlegmy, I felt really gross and congested. And so there was no way for me to actually sit down and film a video. But here I am, I am back now and I'm so excited. So I have been busy and hard at work. And as some of you know, might remember from my last video, I started a business. And so that's been taking up a lot of my time. Okay, so I thought it would be a good idea for this video to come back to you guys and just share with you um, everything that I've kind of used and emptied over the last month and a bit just to let you guys know what I loved, what I didn't love, what I finished, you know, and the, the kind of products that I have used um, while I was sick. So I'm not going to bang on anymore. Let's get started. Hey guys, so I am coming at you from post filming um, editing um, because I totally forgot to let you guys know that I'm actually doing a giveaway for the video. And it's in this goodie box here. So it is filled to the brim with a whole bunch of really good sample size products um, of things that I have collected over the last few. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, my COVID cough is still here, so please do forgive me. Um, of just, so what was I saying? Um, that's right. Um, full of uh, sample size products that um, I have collected over the last few months and a couple of goodies in here as well. So I'm going to open it up and show you guys what it looks like. So we have um, a really, we've got a full size eyeliner here by Stilla. We've got um, Dermalogica Daily Glycolic Cleanser. We have a nice goodie bag from Sephora as well. And this is the uh, Rose Face Mask and the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream from Fresh. We've also got um, Verso Daily Glow Retinol and Vitamin C. So you do have quite a lot of nice products in here as well. You so classic giveaway rules. You just comment on my video below. Tell me that you want to enter, like the video and follow me on Instagram. And that's pretty much it. Um, so thank you guys so much. Oh, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. So the first product that I want to talk about is a luxury hair product because in one of my previous videos, I did talk about, um, one of the like very worth it kind of items to invest your money in, um, is luxury hair products because you can have done up face. You can wear the most perfect, luxurious, expensive outfit but if your hair is a mess if it's dry if it's um split ends or whatever it is it's not it's like you're just gonna still look disheveled hair is such an important factor in any outfit and so spending you know 40 to 50 dollars on a hair product instead of say six or eight dollars in a supermarket product um is going to it's, it's a really good investment the first product i want to talk about is it's the oreb signature conditioner and I do really like it. Um, the product itself is fantastic. It really truly felt like a spa experience. I really loved it. Um, I think in Australia, it was something like $45. And would I recommend it? Actually, I totally would. The only thing is I would recommend getting this in a different um, form factor because the way this is shaped, it was really, really hard to actually get the product out. But if you're able to get it out, the product itself is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. The formula is great. I really loved it. And I truly felt in the month that I used it, actually this lasted me three months. Um, but in that time, I really could see a difference in my hair. My hair felt stronger. It felt shinier in a good way, not like greasy shiny, but like in a healthy glowy kind of shiny. Um, it just felt incredible. And I do highly recommend it, but do not get this product in this form factor. I do think you can get a larger size. This is the 
200 mils. I think there is a larger bottle that you can get um, and it's a pump and I highly recommend that one instead um, because this one was really difficult to actually get the product out of the bottle. And I just want to say that like something like this is worth it not just from like a health perspective but also from like a like a physical health but also from a mental health perspective as well. Especially when you're feeling run down like I did because of COVID, um, having this kind of nice uh, luxury products, you know, making my otherwise quite mundane shower experience turn into something that's quite nice, quite lovely, like a spa, like a day spa kind of thing. Um, it really did boost my mental health. And I really do think that it's something that some people should think about investing in. The next product that I want to talk about is the uh, Hourglass Soft Focus uh, setting spray, the veil. I think the formula is quite nice. The spray is really good. It comes out in a, like a soft mist rather than like a spitting kind of one. Um, and I think the way that the mist comes out is actually something people don't think about because if you have one that spits, you're going to have droplets on your face, but this one's a really fine, soft mist. There's, I can't really do any, like, I can't really do it now because it's run out. Oh, there we go. There's still a little bit in there. <laughs> But, oh, still quite a few sprays in there, actually. Yeah, I did, I, I do. Um, I did really, really like this one. I don't know how much impact this had in terms of staying power, in terms of making my makeup last throughout the day. But one thing that I did kind of notice with this one is that it did help with the movement of my makeup. I was uh, a, a little less afraid or less concerned when I went in to like hug someone or if I had like an itchy face, you know, and I'd like scratch it um, or just kind of like touch my face. I did feel a little bit more confident in the sense that I didn't think my makeup would move too much. But yeah, like in terms of the, um, the way that it comes out, the mist, I think it's really nice. It's really fine. It applies really well. Um, it doesn't have like a strong fragrance either. I actually don't think there's any fragrance in this at all. I think what you smell, that kind of scent, is actually just the natural scent of what the chemicals smell like. I will say this though, a bottle that is like this lasted me a solid six months. So I haven't got a new setting spray in a long time. If you follow me on Instagram, I only recently got a new setting spray and that's from... Guilan the setting spray and I think that that one is really nice but yeah like there's not much to say about this it's just a setting spray do I think it's worth the money to be honest I think you could go with something that's more tried and true like Urban Decay All Nighter I do actually think that one has a noticeable um difference in staying power with my makeup but with this one um I just it wasn't that it was it did nothing. Like, of course, with setting spray, it sets my makeup, it helps it stay, it doesn't make it move, or helps it not move. But I didn't have that same... It wasn't... The, the impact on my makeup just wasn't so obvious. So it's really hard to say um, how much it helped. And I feel like the fact that I can't tell you how much it helped kind of shows that there is a big difference between something like the Urban Decay All, the Urban Decay All Nighter and this, and, and this product. So I think they're about the same money. And honestly, I would put that money towards the Urban Decay um, setting spray. So jumping into skincare, the next product is um, a toner from Aesop. This one, I do not recommend. The formula is great. The fragrance is nice. It smells very botanical, very clean, very nice, but I did not think it did anything for my skincare. So with toner, there's a couple of different ones. The main ones are, um, there's two main ones. The first is to balance your pH. That one stings a little bit, those kind of toners. And the second type of toner is to help do kind of like a further cleanse and like um, break down kind of impurities in your pores and whatnot. This one, I just, it was trying to do both and in doing that, it didn't do either of them well. So I was just really not too impressed with this one. Um, I would definitely spend your money elsewhere. Aesop um, is a good brand in terms of like hand wash and moisturizers, but I think with their toners and their skincare, I think they've still got a, a bit to go. So if you're considering this product, I would definitely look somewhere else. The next product I want to talk about is the By Terry Balm de Rose. So this is just a um, stick lip balm. Um, and it's got like a nice rosy scent to it and it's a slightly pink tinge um, and tinge? No, slightly pink tint to it, colour. Um, and I actually do recommend this product. So this is something that is really nice. I am one of those people that struggle to find good lip balm. Every single lip balm I've used dries like a top layer on my skin and then it starts 
peeling and I get cracked lips. Even though lip balms are supposed to do the absolute opposite, for some reason with my lips, every time I apply, apply lip balm, that's what happens. Like the balm just dries on top of my lips and then it creates like a layer and I still have to like peel it. And it's just really, really gross. This one totally felt like it absorbed into my lips and it's really nice and nourishing. And also because it's got like a nice pink tint to it, like a very, very light pink, it really helps with that kind of, uh, you know, going to work natural, no makeup, makeup look. So I do recommend this product. Now, for those of you that are very interested in the Dior Prestige line, um, I have finished a bottle of the Dior Prestige La Micro Heal de Rose Advanced Serum. So this is one of those products where it has uh, a special unique ingredient to the brand. So these, um, this rose ingredient um, that's used in here and the little micro capsules in there, um, they are grown specifically in a Dior garden so no other brand has this particular ingredient and it has you know a lot of claims um you know it's anti-aging smoothing hydrating you know it's got all of those like classic serum claims right i just want to say for those of you that are considering this because it is a hefty investment in skincare if you have the money, like if you already have kind of everything set, you want to reward yourself with something that's a little over the top because you're like, I work hard, I deserve it, then 100% I definitely recommend this product because I have gone through two bottles of this and I love it. I meet up with my friends and they say, I haven't seen you in like two months, but damn, your skin is looking so good. And it's not just because of this, but I've definitely noticed a huge improvement in my skin. If you're thinking, if you're tossing up between like, oh, if I get this, then I can't get this other product that I really like, like, you know, if it's a vitamin C, because even those kind of products can get really expensive. Like Drunk Elephant's vitamin C is like $120. Between those kind of things, if you're like, I would really want like known, tested, tried and true results, I would definitely go for those scientifically tested products, you know, retinol, vitamin C, etc. I personally, for me, my own experience, it worked really, really well. The formula is fantastic. Um, and yeah, and the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, it's just, it's a fantastic product. Now, speaking of a set skincare routine and scientifically proven and tested uh, ingredients, I want to talk about this particular vitamin C serum because I do not like this and for anybody looking for a vitamin C serum, do not get this because it is absolutely so awful. Um, so this is, um, the brand is Allies of Skin, 20% vitamin C brighten and firm serum and it's in this kind of like bottle and there is no cap or anything like that. So the way the bottle works, so let's just talk about packaging first. The way the bottle works is there is a little locking mechanism on the pump. So if you twist it one way, it unlocks. You twist it the other way, it, it locks and you can't push it down anymore. Even if it's locked, there is still a little bit of give. You can still press it down a little bit. And when you do press it down, there is actual product that comes out still. So if you're traveling or if you want to travel with this bottle, it is so, so bad because you will leak everywhere and it has happened to me, even if you've twisted it to lock. Now, speaking of the twist, you, I can't figure out when it's locked or unlocked. I have to, I can't figure out the spot for where it's locked and unlocked. Like it just twisted a little bit more, press down. It's a trial and error. I hate this bottle so, so much. Now, the other thing is the formula. It is... 20% vitamin C. So let me just start off by saying the reason I got this um, particular product is because with vitamin C and the research that I've done, vitamin C only becomes effective or it's most effective at 20% concentration. Most vitamin C products are 15%. So things like Drunk Elephant, Tatcha, all of those brands have 15% vitamin C concentration and it's actually not as effective as 20%, obviously, because it's less um, less concentrated. But based on my research, 15% really won't, like it's so ineffective that it really isn't gonna make much difference. 20% is where it's at. And because this is 20% concentration, that's why I decided to get it. However, the formula is so bad. Like in terms of effectiveness, I think it was effective, um, but I've recently had a lot of um, skin treatments done. So I, I don't know how much of it is, is from this product. But in terms of the formula for 
how it feels, the texture, it literally feels like oil and grease. It feels like I am slathering grease and oil on my face. And that is not a good feeling. But I spend the money, I toughed it out, I finished the product, it's completely empty now. But I just have to say, please do not get this product. It is so, so bad. So yes, anyone considering this, don't. Go to another product. Go to another, go to another brand. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. Um, that's everything for this video. I do actually have, um, a few other things that I want to talk about, but I will save that for another video because I don't want this one to be too long. Um, but yeah, so those are the products that I've used, loved, and some of them not loved, um, while I have been sick. Let me know some of the products that you've used as well. Anything that you want me to try as well, I would love suggestions because... That's what I like to do. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.